Hi guys, in this video we're going to build a custom modular runtime image which bundles the Java runtime environment and all the modules that your application requires. So it will have zero dependencies on the system, which makes it easily distributable, which is what we want often. So suppose you have a project that runs Java 11 and you have a JavaFX in it um, at some point. So first thing you'll need to do is to create a module info. I'm not going to talk about the modular, uh, modular stuff in here, but just make sure you have at the top level in your project under a source main Java. Um, I'm assuming you're following the Maven directory structure and uh, name it something like so the top level package is usually the name of your module. And you will need to require some JavaFX stuff, which is typically JavaFX controls, which should pull in all other dependencies. This is an FXGL project, so I'm going to require FXGL instead. And just to make things simpler, you can make it open as well. Um, I'm not going to talk about the details of open and all other things in the syntax. But all you need is this module info file, which makes it a modular project. Now, the next thing is um, rather simple because of the OpenJFX Maven plugin. And I will give you the link to, the, um, to this. Uh, particular page which is right there so all you need to do is just grab this and just copy and paste it in fact this whole tutorial could just be one command just copy and paste this and kind of um, run maven clean JavaFX jlink that will give you a bit more context so um, configuration is you remove the debug information, which should um, reduce the size of the runtime image. Compress to as maximum, no header files, um, so no .h files in your runtime image, uh, no documentation stuff. The launcher is the um, kind of the bat file they run. So if I call it um, cron game. That's the image name. I think this is the directory um, where your image will reside. So let's call it just cron. And this is the zip file that is generated out of that. Let's call it cron game. So obviously you would rename this to whatever you want. The important thing is to make sure that you have the main class here. <coughs> which is the starting um, entry point to your application. Once all of this is configured, you can go to the command line or through the ID, though I prefer the command line, and you can do maven clean JavaFX J link, which if you've done everything correctly, should produce a runtime image of your application plus the Java runtime environment or custom JRE to be more precise, which contains all of the required modules. So it doesn't contain anything else, which reduces the overall size uh, dramatically. So if you go to the target directory of your project, where the whole thing was built, you should find this zip file, which contains everything. And you can see that it's only 40 megs compared to your standard JRE uh, distribution, which is about 200 megs. Let's just create a temporary directory. And that should be distributable. Um, I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure you can just um, run this on a different, um, well, on a different machine, but with the same platform. It's platform specific. So if you're doing this on Windows, it will contain the Windows libraries. Uh, in the binary folder, in the bin folder, you should find Cron, dot, uh, cron hyphen game dot bat, which is what this thing 
generated, so launcher. And if you double click on it on Windows, um, you should have your application running just like this. And as you can see, all the DLLs are there. So I'm assuming on Linux and Mac OS, these will have different um, dynamic libraries attached to them since this is platform specific. But generally, this is the first time I've tried it, by the way. So it was pretty cool. Um, and as soon as I tried it, I wanted to make a video out of it so that you can then play around with various runtime images and see if they're actually distributable, which would be pretty cool. And then you can start thinking, how can, how can you make this native? So things like, things like um, I think there is a plugin for JavaFX that does this, produces a native um, executable in the end, which would be even easier for the end user, right? Uh, anyway, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.